I feel like I've told you a lot of different stuff about cloth diapers that you like maybe shouldn't do or how to's and all this other stuff. So I thought a really fun how to would be how to destroy your cloth diapers. Um, so I have I think 11 different ways that you can totally ruin your investment on your cloth diapers. So basically don't do these things, right? Right. But if you really wanted to like have a good go at it, here are some ways that you can ruin cloth diapers. So for starters, you can use bleach on your diapers. They will not ruin your diapers. Too much bleach will ruin your diapers. So too much bleach kind of looks like um, what you would use on a whole load. I basically use bleach maybe like once a month um, and I put it on the diapers. I like throw them in and let a rinse cycle go through and then I do a full wash and then the rinse cycle after. Um, and you just kind of use like a, a splash. Um, you don't need a lot of bleach. That will ruin your diapers. Um, it can ruin the elasticity. It can ruin the fabric. So bleach, okay. Too much bleach, not okay. Too much bleach, that's a way to ruin your cloth diapers. The second way that you can ruin your cloth diapers would be using really thick diaper cream. That's like the white with the zinc in it. Um, that's gonna stick to the fabric and um, it doesn't wash off. So it ruins the absorbency. Basically your, um, your diapers will become completely non-absorbent um, because it'll, the urine will beat off it and it doesn't absorb. So haha, it won't be doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I love this cream, it's the Ava Anderson. I know, don't get me started on the controversy of Ava Anderson, I know it. But um, this diaper cream is like thick and white. That's the only one I have that's thick and white, so I wanted to kind of show it to you. So if you have a diaper cream like that, actually this stuff's really good on your hands. Um, that's pretty much what I use it for because I can't use it on Millie's bummy. But um, when it smells really good, okay, that's my pitch for Ava Anderson right now. But um, there are plenty of diaper creams out there. We use this guy. There's um, this guy it sort of looks abused. Um, and you'll see these creams are not thick or white. Um, the thick white, again, that's going to be the zinc, and that is going to ruin your diapers. Um, and that is the Angel Baby Bottom, which is really good and smells mm, delicious. Um, and then we have Grandma L's Diaper Rash Ointment, pediatrician recommended. Um, this I picked up at my local baby shop, Bolani. You'll hear me talk about them a lot. Um, so you can always um, go in, but you'll see like the back of a good diaper cream that you can use with cloth diapers works with most cloth diapers. Please contact your diaper manufacturer. Okay? That's the number one way you're not going to ruin your diapers. Look up specific instructions for your diapers. Okay? Okay. So again, whoop. You'll see on the back. I hope you can see. I'm not shaking too much. Um, if a diaper cream is made for your cloth diapers, it will say it somewhere on here. Um, or Contact your cloth diaper company that you use. Um, I know for me, I love Grovia, and Grovia does make a specific bum cream. Um, again, bum cream's not, not necessary, but if you use one, don't use anything with zinc. Anything that's white or thick, um, that is not good for your cloth diapers and will ruin them. Another way you're gonna ruin your cloth diapers, overheat them. Um, there are plenty of ways to do that, um, but the primary ways that you're probably going to run into are going to be um, washing them on too high of heat. Really warm is the highest it should ever need to be. Never use the sanitize. Um, that setting apparently is like scalding hot. I'm not sure what you really use that setting for anyway. It seems scary to me to wash any clothes on that. Um, seems destructive, but that high heat setting can ruin um, a multitude of diapers for different reasons. Um, most, most prominently, obviously, is the elastic. It'll totally um, ruin your elastic. So um, it can also melt certain fibers and um, certain liners on diapers. So no sanitization, sanitizer, whatever that setting is on your washing machine, don't use it. Um, high heat dries will also ruin your diapers. So um, you can use um, a, like a medium setting and just dry them for longer, um, or you can line dry your diapers. So, um, you know, be cautious with heat because that will ruin your diapers. So line drying your diapers sounds like an awesome idea, and it is, 
Um, but that can totally ruin your diapers um, by letting them hang um, too long. Also, baking them in the sun. This should have gone with the heat. But if you leave your diapers outside to dry, which is awesome because the sun is a natural stain fighter and um, can make your diapers just smell amazing. If you leave them out there, the sun will bake your diapers, which, again, that will ruin um, the elasticity on your diapers and can just totally destroy um, some of the liners on um on the shells so the sun is awesome line drying is great but try and lay them flat so you're laying them like this i can actually grab so in lieu of hanging a diaper like that or like this which the weight of the water against your diaper can kind of stretch it and pull it try to just lay it flat out and you can do that if you like lay it on a deck or if you have like a rack that dries, you just lay it across the top. So there are ways to do it without yanking your diaper because line drying is another way that you can ruin your diapers. Another way you can ruin your diapers would be stripping them. I know, I know, I know, you can strip your diapers. That's okay, there are plenty of ways that you can do it. Look those up online. I'm not a stripper. That didn't come out right, but you know what I mean. I don't strip my diapers. I feel like um, I've come across a good way to launder them, and I haven't needed to strip them, but there are times that, you know, you get a little bit of buildup or a little bit of smell, and I'm like, uh. Um, if you don't want to bleach them out just a little bit, like I mentioned earlier, a little bit of bleach okay, a lot of bleach not okay, you can try something like um, Agrovia Mighty Bubbles. Um it's called Mighty Bubbles. You use them after you wash your diapers, basically, and it gives you, um, it just is like a, a booster post wash. So follow the directions on the bag. Any laundry booster, too much of anything, not a good thing. Um, and your diapers, you want to keep that routine nice and simple. So don't strip your diapers. If you do, don't strip them often and make sure you're using the proper things to strip them. Um, again, look up what can be used on your diapers. For some diapers, like a baking soda or a vinegar, that'll totally destroy them. There's also a product called RLR and that's really good. Um, people have been using um, different detergents like um, Cascade or um, Dawn. Those things are really harsh. They're not made for your diapers. Um, and with that, um, using some of those products in your washing machines can destroy your warranty on your washing machine. They can like clog up your washer because they're not tested for um, dishwashing products, oddly or not oddly. So be careful what you use to clean your diapers, especially um, if you're stripping them. Um, you could actually add to the problem more so by adding more buildup. So another way you can ruin your cloth diapers, stripping them improperly. Another way you're gonna ruin your diapers is fabric softener. Um, fabric softener is chock full of chemicals as it is, so I try and steer clear of it. Um, but a fabric softener on anything that's supposed to be absorbent, including your towels, so don't listen to those commercials, um, the, the fabric softener ruins absorbency. Um, so it makes it all soft and fluffy, and if you've ever used a really nice fluffy towel after a shower, you wrap yourself in it and it's fabulous, but you pretty much go to dry yourself and you're just pushing the water around. That's fabric softener. So essentially that is exactly what it'll do to your cloth diapers. It will take, it'll make them really soft, which is awesome, but it will get rid of their absorbency. Um, so the urine um, will never actually be absorbed. It'll just be sitting there and pushing around and uh, that's, that's where leaks will come from. So be careful uh, with fabric softener and check your detergent because some of them have built in fabric softener. Um, we don't use dryer sheets for the same reason, um, besides the chemicals, is that sometimes there's a fabric softener in there. We use uh, Woolsey's dryer balls. So they're just wool balls that um, bounce around on your washing machine and they help rid your clothes of any static. So be careful with your detergent and be careful with um, any dryer sheets because fabric softener will ruin your cloth diapers. So this one was really weird for me, but I did some research about how people have cleaned their cloth diapers, um, and cleaning them in unconventional places will, in fact, ruin your cloth diapers. Um, I've heard some really crazy things, like to sanitize diapers, people are putting them in their microwave. Don't do that. Um, they put them in their dishwasher. Don't do that. Um, and I've heard people boiling their diapers to sanitize them. That should not ever be necessary. And boiling water, uh, the heat will destroy your diapers, um, the elasticity of them. So unconventional places, <laughs> just, just washing machines should be totally cool. Um, and line drying or your dryer. A steadfast way to destroy your cloth diapers would be to not use a detergent. 
Um, there are a lot of cleaners that are like a plant-based or um, there's just no soap in them at all. Um, those are going to destroy your diapers because they're just going to allow um, everything to build up. Um, so not using the right detergent obviously is an issue, but not using a detergent at all is going to be a huge issue as well. Just water will leave your diapers wet and then you dry them. Um, but again, no cleaner will destroy your diapers. If your diapers aren't clean, of course they'll stink, but the ammonia can also burn um, your baby skin. So, you know, you wanna definitely be careful with that and make sure that you're, again, using the right detergent, using enough of the detergent. Um, you wanna make sure that you come up with the right wash routine for you. Um, too many rinses, actually bad for your diapers. Um, so if you're washing, especially if you have hard water, because hard water can um, aid in a buildup of your on your diapers, um, you're gonna to wanna to just find what works for you. Too much water and your diapers aren't going to touch each other and you need that, that agitation in the water with the diapers rubbing against each other. Um, that's part of what helps clean them. Um, and too little water, the diapers are kinda of just gonna sit there and the water won't move through them so they won't be getting clean. So there's definitely a learning curve, there's a fine art, um, but if you would like to destroy your diapers then don't use any detergent whatsoever and don't worry about how much water you use and rinse them too much. So, you get it. Be careful with your cleaning. Um, and of course, there is, like I said, there's a total learning curve and you will totally have some stink on your diapers at one point or another. Don't worry about it. There's always a way to get out of it. Um, and you're gonna wanna try just one thing at a time. Doing too many things to your diapers at once is a sure way to destroy them. And remember, if you experiment on your diapers, you're also experimenting on your baby's skin. So TLC for your baby, TLC for your diapers, and you won't destroy them. Be rough, use a lot of things, and you'll destroy your cloth diapers and you might hurt your baby's bum. So careful with that. Okay, another way you're gonna destroy your diapers, which I think is totally wacky, but I've definitely heard of people using this, um, is if you have an ammonia issue with your diapers, using fish tank ammonia remover. Wow, totally wild. Um, so your cloth diapers definitely have not been tested to hold up against fish tank cleaners, um, and your baby's skin definitely, probably, surely, should not have ammonia remover made for fish tanks on it. Um, but I've totally heard people using this. So if you've done it, um, don't do it anymore. And if you're thinking about using it to remove any ammonia issues in your diapers, stop thinking. Um, go back and, and figure something else out. There are definitely ways to remove ammonia. Um, you can contact your diaper manufacturer, whoever you're using, and they always have awesome suggestions. They usually have customer service people on staff specifically to help you with buildup. So if you're looking to destroy your diapers, fish tank ammonia remover might be for you, but I highly suggest not going near it. Um, enzymes and essential oils and all sorts of things that you throw into like homemade detergents or you might put in like um, in your washing machine to help your your clothes smell better those things will build up on your diapers um, so you'll just have like mineral deposits and you'll have all this oil and just so much stuff on your diapers um, this is one of those keep it simple mom situations or dad or whoever's cleaning diapers just keep it simple um usually a bunch of enzymes and all those oils they're totally not necessary um and you don't really need your diapers to smell fresh um if you're looking for that put them out in the sun um and if you want to destroy them leave them out in the sun um but to make sure that you are really going to destroy your diapers just throw as many things in there as you want <laughs> But to make sure that your diapers are not going to get destroyed, you're gonna to wanna to just avoid any extra enzymes and essential oils and anything else that is just another additive. Um, just do a water, a wash, a water, and you really should be okay. Um, a nice, simple routine will make sure that your diapers are not destroyed. Lastly, one of my favorite ways to destroy your cloth diapers, or my cloth diapers, as it were, is by having wax or play-doh in with the diapers when you wash them more specifically when you dry them um you might say um why don't you check and make sure there's no crayons in your laundry first fun fact um i have heard of children you know asking for a friend yeah nope my kids eat um things like play-doh crayons 
the tips of markers, all sorts of weird things um, when we do arts and crafts projects. And when they are not digested, they come out pretty much the same way they went in. And those wax deposits can, um, you know, they'll heat and adhere to your diaper just like any other wax. And it totally ruins the absorbency on your diapers. <laughs> so if you're like me and you're aiming to be mom of the year and your kids sometimes, you know, eat unconventional things, um, just make sure you're cleaning all the matter out of the diaper. And a sprayer is going to be your BFF, um, as well as bio liners in your diapers, which I know I've talked about before in other videos. Wax and Play-Doh will ruin your cloth diapers. So do you have a favorite way to ruin your cloth diapers? I would love to know what it is. Leave it in the comments below and don't forget to check out the blog where I will lay all of the information out that I just rambled on to you and probably add a few more tidbits and tips in there. It'll be up at www.aisforadelaide.com and there is a parenting, cloth diapering, birth, pregnancy section that you can find it in if you missed it. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. I really appreciate it. And share this video if you know someone that could totally benefit from learning how to destroy their cloth diapers.